Hey, emulation enthusiasts. The Switch emulator scene just changed overnight. The pre-alpha build of Eden emulator is here, and it's not just another Yuzu fork, it's a statement. With a sleek user interface, new tools, and rising tension with existing forks like Citroën, we're witnessing the start of a new chapter in Switch emulation. In this video, we'll explore both Citroën and Eden from features and performance to firmware installation and Android compatibility. If you're into emulation on mobile or PC, this is a war you'll want to follow. Citroën is an Android-optimized fork of Yuzu, focused on performance and stability. It's one of the more actively maintained mobile forks, and is favored for its compatibility with custom GPU drivers and frequent updates. Eden Emulator, on the other hand, is a new open-source Yuzu fork, launched in pre-alpha. According to its developers, it aims to rewrite how users interact with emulators starting with UI, launcher design, and a more user-friendly setup process. Both are based on Yuzu's open source code base under GPLv2, so development transparency is part of the ecosystem. To run either Citroen or Eden smoothly on Android, Snapdragon SoC required, Snapdragon 865 or newer recommended, Android 11 or higher, minimum 6GB RAM, 8GB plus preferred, Adreno GPU with support for Turnip or custom Mesa drivers. Mali GPUs are not officially supported and will experience graphical issues or crashes. Setting up keys and firmware. Both emulators require the following files to boot games. Prod keys and title keys. Nintendo Switch firmware. Citroen supports firmware 19, but Eden supports firmware 19 as well as 20 game files in NSP or XEI format. Citroen retains a minimalist interface similar to original Yuzu. It focuses on function over form. Eden Emulator introduces a modern UI overhaul offering tabs for game organization, detailed settings panels, and an improved layout tailored for mobile devices. Eden's approach is clearly UX first, aiming to lower the entry barrier for beginners. Now the main question where to download. Citron is available via community GitHub mirrors and Discord servers. Eden is currently in pre-alpha, available through official GitHub or Discord. All right, let's see game compatibility on Citroen so far. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is running at solid frame rates. Zelda Breath of the Wild is fully playable when using turnip drivers. Hollow Knight Flawless And Metroid Dread boots up and runs really well too. Now let's talk about Eden the pre-alpha branch. Mario Kart 8 boots, but you might notice some minor frame skips. Zelda Bow TW also boots, though performance can vary depending on your setup. The latest firmware version 20.x is already supported but only in experimental mode. That said, early testers have reported a few UI bugs and occasional crashes. But keep in mind, game support is still evolving and it's only going to get better, especially on the Eden side. This is more than just a feature comparison. It's a look at the direction of Switch emulation. Citroen is powerful, but not without problems. The original dev left, and its reliance on tools like Switch Verifier made the setup unnecessarily complex. More recently, Camille, a key contributor, left the project. And since then, users have reported heavy bugs and broken builds. Eden, on the other hand, is just getting started. Despite being a newborn emulator, it's already supporting experimental firmware up to version 20, pushing boundaries even in its alpha stage. With a clean UI and Q launcher, it's built for both beginners and tinkerers. So, which one's your pick? Drop a comment below Team Citroen or Team Eden. Don't forget to like, subscribe,